If you want to relax in the late afternoon reading your favourite light-hearted novel, then I swear, do not go near this book. It will keep you in so much suspense that you become a sleep-deprived anxious mess and you contemplate your very own existence. Before I give you the wrong impression here, I love this book. My favourite novel. Like, that is my favourite novel. It has changed how I perceive novels and the whole industry altogether. It is Jesus. I was expecting just a normal book, but as I started reading, I realised I was very, very wrong. So off. Just my bad. But it was for the good. I've never read anything like it before. The use of language, the use of character, the character development, how you found out. It was very subjective, but also objective. Let me tell you, I am not the only one that is in love with this novel. S.J. Watson has tailored a novel that is not only perfect for me, but for everyone else. This book may not be Fifty Shades of Grey, but my god, it's done well. It's won awards, it was a bestseller. Do you think compared to J.K. Rowling? The main reason it's done so well is because it contains the three major trends that are currently in the trading book industry. These three trends include having crime mystery thriller as the genre, being original, and having an element of surprise. My gosh, has this book got a surprise for you? We just need to talk about that ending. Like, what? What? From the beginning of the book to the very end, I had a multitude of different theories as to the characters' relationships, where the actual storyline was going, and yet, when I got to the end, I was completely off. It still had the shock value, however, it didn't feel disheartening, like I just wasted my time on this entire book. Rewarding plot twist. Unlike some movies, aka The Village by M. Night Shyamalan, the mastery of S.J. Watson made it possible. After I finished this amazing book, it had me really thinking about the industry itself and how it's transcended through the use of technology. We've got ebooks and audiobooks now, there's so many different options, there's so many different websites of how to interact with a novel without actually picking up a novel. I'm surrounded by screens all day, I always look at them. And there's something just so authentic about actually picking up a book, reading it, and finishing it. It it brings a sense of fulfillment to me. This experience won't last much longer though, because it's been predicted that by 2018, they're actually not going to be making paperback books anymore. I'm essentially holding an artifact. The fact that in the future I'm going to be listening to an audiobook, or reading from an ebook, another screen, kind of puts me down. Why? <laughs> but I believe of escapism through the words of these amazing authors. In summary, I am actually excited for the future of the book industry. I mean, if they're going to make more books like this, get me in there.